Hey everyone, my luxury stories here. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see from today's uh, video title, I am definitely unboxing my prettiest Louis Vuitton handbag till date. Let me get straight into it and then we'll do a little story time. So of course it's not a true unboxing because I have already unboxed this. I haven't used this yet to be honest. Um, I will be using it soon. But I just thought, uh, I, mean, I couldn't wait to film and I couldn't wait to like, you know, use it and then tell you guys. So let me just pull off this ribbon, put her back in the bag and unbox this bag for you. And then give you a little bit of the story time as to how I got it and do I have it on my wish list or not. So let me just, sorry, put this big box aside. I have the entire camera covered with, um my desk back so sorry about that yes and let's bring her back here and I unbox with you my Louis Vuitton capucine bag in the galley color here she is guys and isn't she a beauty I don't want to put her <laughs> on the table so I keep her nice and clean <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna put her up here on the desk bag yeah there we go okay so I had the capucines on my wish list for quite a bit of time, to be honest. Um, every time I'd walk into the store, I'd just look at her and I'd say, you know, um, one day I need to get this one. Let me bring you guys closer so you can also have a look at her. Yeah, there we go. You can see the beautiful um, leather that Louis Vuitton has used. As far as I understand, this is the same leather that Hermes also uses. Um, so, um, yeah, anyway, I would pa walk past this one all the time and think to myself that, okay, one day I definitely need to get this bag, right? Um, the price point was something which kind of like put, pushed me back because I do understand it's quite hefty. Um, but then again, I understand Louis Vuitton's leather is exceptional from what I read and from what I watch online. Um, I don't um, own any of their own prompt pieces just yet, but from what I understand is that it's just absolutely um, delicious, it's long lasting, it's amazing their leather. So I did understand that the price point is there for a certain reason, but I would always think, okay, leather, um, you know, maybe check other like Chanel, I don't know, but I just love the craftsman of craftsmanship of this bag I mean I understand it is handmade and my essay would tell me my essay told me when I was purchasing it that it takes around 245 days just to make this bag and um, that's just incredible 245 hours sorry let me just correct that 245 hours for a single artisan to make this bag and that's just phenomenal if like I mean considering this is handmade so um a couple of weeks ago i was in the store and i was trying out the on the go which is something i also have on my wish list this year and my sales associate you know brought out this bag and she said oh um you know have you considered buying it etc etc and i was like yeah i've walked past it a few times and you know i know which color i want i know which size i want like i know everything about it but then i'm just not sure when i want to get it right and she was like Oh, but you know, they're going to have a price increase on this soon. And I was like, okay, well, that's absolutely something that you cannot expect, right? And I was like, okay, um, all right, okay, so how much do you think it would be? And she's like, oh, a good, like, 10%. Now, 10% means that's like a good seven, 800 Singapore dollars, <laughs> which is, like, quite up there. Right? I just, I could easily get another small dollar girl in that kind of money. And I was like, okay, um, that's quite a bit of money. So she's like, yeah, well, you know, if you are interested, um, like I have a new one that just came in. Why don't you have a look? In fact, she had three, four that had just come into the store. And I was like, okay. And I don't know, I kind of like to like look around and like, you know, take, pick like the best bag right there. I don't know if anybody else does that, but, um, and so I did that. I took my sweet time. I looked at everything that possibly could be looked at uh, but for me um, the shape was really important because a few of them that I'd seen were like <laughs> pretty like squished in like a pancake so this one was beautiful it was nice and fluffy it's a made in Italy piece and um, I also had my essay scan it for me so that I could check the new date code system with Louis Vuitton 
and it took them quite a bit of time because apparently the chip was somewhere inside so yeah I went to get the on the go and I came back home with this but nonetheless I am so happy that I have her and it's the most beautiful um, color it is it's it's a nude but with like a gray undertone um, not like as off-white as like what I am like wearing right now but um, there's definitely that gray undertone to it which for me is perfect because I love neutral bags as you guys I'm sure have already seen on my channel and let me just open her up for you um, it is a uh, made in Italy piece and from what I understand apparently the better artisans are like in Italy I don't know but it has a smooth interior uh, like lining I understand it's calf uh, skin let me just pull out that textile card and confirm that to you so here is the um, textile card and the um, product code for the store so yeah so the outside is cowhide leather and the inside is yes calf skin it's calf leather so um yeah um i'm pretty excited to start using this because i understand louis vuitton's leather is uh, exceptional also and the um what actually really so I, I did love the bag like i've just said but the strap itself is of such a you know amazing length like for me because for reference i'm like almost five three i'm like five three ish five three and a half and for me the strap drop is very important so a lot of bags which i love uh, from louis vuitton i do not get because of that long long strap drop for example the montaigne um the montaigne bb and then there is the um alma and the damir ebene i have it in the bernie leather which i just take sometimes out if i'm going for dinner um with the um you know it also has of course that long strap drop which is like more than 50 centimeters but i just hand hold hand hold that one so i'm okay with that but this one is like the shortest that could be adjusted to is 48 which is absolutely like the perfect drop for me and this kind of like sealed the deal i was like okay i need to see if the strap is okay for me or not and it absolutely was all right so um yeah like i said um everything about the bag which i wanted to check was all right and i have heard a few horror stories about this leather because it's apparently not like stitched together like popping out but well, we'll have to use it to see and i'm sure you've seen a lot of videos on the capucines how the hook closes on here but i don't think i'll be doing that and then this um you know closure on the top which kind of like just hides all your belongings if you want you could always just flip it over to not even show that it's from lv but i mean it is such a chic and such a minimalistic design um i love monogram all right if there's absolutely some monogram addiction which is true which people talk about um but i love this one as well and um you know if i love using this who knows i might even grab the mini size which is so cute um and i i didn't try fitting my phone in but um i think it looked pretty spacious to me and uh, yeah i will definitely be doing a lot of um what's in my bag with this one and um i'll be posting reviews three months down the line six months down the line and definitely a one-year review which is something i always look forward to from um, other influencers and uh yeah there she is in all her glory in broad daylight it has the four beautiful feet at the bottom and yeah i mean the craftsmanship is just to be like you know absolutely awed by i mean just look at this right well i'm gonna you know leave you guys here and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i will leave my instagram handle below in the description box if there's anything you'd like to watch and you know, any requests you guys would like to make please go ahead i love interacting with you guys in the comment section and i will see you all in my next one now bye guys